Hello and welcome to this informative video on the Indian government's budget for the fiscal year 2023 to 2024. I'm Finance Floor, and today I'll be walking you through the key highlights of this year's budget, which was unveiled by the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman. Let's start with the GDP growth and fiscal deficit. According to the budget, the nominal GDP for 2023 to 2024 is estimated to grow 10.5% year-on-year to reach a staggering 301.75 trillion rupees, which is roughly equivalent to $3.69 trillion. The Indian government aims to reduce the fiscal deficit from the current 6.4% of GDP to 5.9% of GDP for the 2023 to 2024 fiscal year. The ultimate goal is to achieve a fiscal deficit of 4.5% of GDP by 2025 to 2026. The budget has also proposed an increase in the federal budget spending by 7.5% to 45.03 trillion rupees. This year, the capital spending will see a 33% increase to 10 trillion rupees. The capital outlay for railways will also see a 48% hike to 2.4 trillion rupees, and the outlays for road transport will see a 24.4% increase to 2.7 trillion rupees. The defense outlays have also been raised to 5.94 trillion rupees, and the education budget has been raised to 1.13 trillion rupees. The health budget has also seen a significant hike to 889.5 billion rupees. The budget has also allocated an increased amount of funds for affordable housing, providing 350 billion rupees for the same. However, the allocations for the Rural Job Guarantee Program have been cut to 600 billion rupees. As far as the revenue receipts are concerned, the government is aiming for a total of 26.32 trillion rupees, with tax receipts expected to increase by 12% to 23.3 trillion rupees. The government aims to borrow a total of 15.43 trillion rupees in the 2023 to 2024 fiscal year, with net market borrowings estimated at 11.8 trillion rupees. This year's budget has also proposed a new income tax regime with higher threshold limits and a reduction in the highest surcharge rate from 37.5% to 25%. The rebate limit under personal income taxes has also been raised to 700,000 rupees. The budget has also proposed a cut in customs duties on lab-grown diamonds and higher import duties on silver doors. The customs duties on items made from gold and platinum have also been increased, and custom duties on compounded rubber have been raised. However, there is good news for the electric vehicle industry, as the custom duty exemption has been extended to EV batteries. And that's all for today's overview of India's 45 trillion rupee budget for the next fiscal year. We hope you found this informative and insightful. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news and analysis on the economy, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like and share it with your friends and colleagues. Your support and feedback helps us keep providing you with great content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.